We're invading the Sand Fortress. Are you ready? Good. Let's do it. They're paper tigers, men! Pour on everything you've got! Go! Show Alistair the ferocity of the Gutrals! Don't let yourself be outdone by the humans or Gutrals! Show them a Sadros' pride! We're about to enter the Sand Fortress! Don't fall behind! Hugo's brainwashing taken that much of a hold? This is bad. The same might have happened to our brigade if we'd stayed in Alistair. Enough! Here I go! What's its weakness? Leave it to me! 
it's finally over. <sighs> Don't worry, we're not gonna kill you. You'll be kept as prisoners of war. <sighs> then start acting like one. Tell the rest of your soldiers to stop resisting. Looks like everyone's behaving themselves. I'm glad we didn't have any needless casualties. Stock! Rosh! What's wrong? My apologies. When we weren't looking, a group of our men went after the soldiers toward the plane. We must retrieve them at once! Oh, they must have gotten puffed up after the total thrashing we gave. We can still catch up. It's dangerous to pursue the enemy too doggedly. We need to bring our people back. I agree. We can catch up if we go after them now. Everyone, let's go! Elm, you and your men keep watch over the prisoners. There they are. Damn them for being so reckless. I'll catch them even if I have to- Wait, stop! Ah, what's wrong? Don't get any closer! I don't like it. Something feels real bad. That's right. I can sense something too. Something? What? I don't know, but it feels very dangerous. We need to get back to the fortress. But what about them? I said we need to get back. Do you want to die? All right. What was that? We can't possibly proceed in the face of that thing. I can't believe it turned them all to sand. My friend and foe. It's insane. Now I see why the Alistel army was so weirdly obedient when it came to withdrawing from Scala. What's the matter, Ott? My grandpa told me something. Mana is in everything in the world, and stuff that loses its mana goes back to sand. To sand? So Hugo can drain the mana from people at will? What we just saw was the same as when the Cygnus army was turned to sand. Say, didn't that soldier who attacked you and Sonya at Alistal Castle turn to sand too? Man, sucking the mana right out of people and turning them to sand. That bastard Hugo's come up with one hell of a weapon. No, it's not a weapon. That's the power of Flux. It's the power of the ritual that controls mana. This seems like a good time to take a break. We could use a moment to let it all sink in. Have you had enough time to think things over? We'll be resuming the meeting soon. All right, I'll call everyone. Well, moving on. What was it you said? The power of flux? What is that? Please allow me to explain. Lieutenant General Raoul, when did you get here? Just a moment ago, but it seems I missed some sort of crisis. Yeah, that bastard Hugo pulled out this insane weapon. Or wait, what did Ott say? He used something called the power of flux. I see. So that's the secret of the phenomenon that turned the Cygnus army into sand. As for flux, this lady here would know the most about it. And she is... I apologize for not introducing myself. I am Erica the former princess of Granorg. Princess Erica? I had sought refuge with King Garland of Cygnus after fleeing from Granorg. 
That is when I came into contact with Lieutenant General Raoul regarding the reclamation of my homeland. Until now, she had mainly worked behind the scenes. Once she realized an incursion into Granorg was imminent, she asked to accompany us. So that's it. Well, it's fine with me. But if she's going to come with us, she'll have to be treated the same as everyone else. I would expect as much. Since fleeing from my homeland, I have cast away my title. Don't be too hard on her. Understood. You're okay with this, right, Stock? Sure. <laughs> Brother? Brother? Oh, pardon me. Um... I'm going to get some fresh air. I wondered where you were. Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. Erica, there's something I want to ask you. It's about what Ott mentioned a moment ago, the power of flux. Isn't that the power that's passed down through the royal family of Granorg? How do you know about that? Could you really be... What? Oh, no, I must have been mistaken. Pardon me, I'll answer your question now. As you said, the power of Flux is passed down through Granorg's royal family. But it is definitely not meant to turn people to sand. It is used to bring the unstable mana of this land back into its natural balance. Using the power of Flux to bring stability back to this land. This has been the duty of our royal family for generations. But in practice, it's now become capable of harming others. I believe they are triggering a mana breach in certain locations to turn people into sand. Incorporating the spell formula for Flux into a weapon, and using it for wholesale destruction. These are rather grave ideas General Hugo is capable of. I assume the idea was actually Fennel's. He's one of the finest engineering minds in the world. He's the one who created the Thaw Machine for Hugo, too. Alice still has such a man? Well, in any case, something must be done about that dreadful weapon. But if we so much as try, we'll be turned to sand as soon as we approach it. We can't even think about an attack without a way to protect ourselves from its effects. There is one way to protect oneself from it. The Royal Granorg Treasure. Ethereon, the Stone of Flux. That stone fixes mana in place, protecting the bearer from a breach. It's a must for the ritual. And if we had it, we could negate the weapon's effects. Yes, but Ethereon was last in my stepmother Protea's possession. Now that she's been executed by General Hugo... I see. Ah, there you two are. Lieutenant General Raoul, has something happened? We had a visit from one of Hugo's messengers. He's proposing an armistice. Hugo wants an armistice. That's right. He'll recognize Forja, Cygnus, and Celestia as independent nations if we back down. Now that they've annexed Granorg, he must want to get his house in order rather than fight a war. And what will our response be? 
I can't decide something like that on my own. That's why I came to talk to you two. If we agree to the armistice, the war will end for the time being. What do you think, Stock? If they're offering an armistice, it may be wise to accept it. It would end the war at least. True. It may be better to accept this before more soldiers are wounded. Keep in mind that if we do this, the chances of getting Granorg back for you drop to nil. Oh, I realize that. But perhaps that is also for the best. I see. Very well then. I'll run this by Celestia and Forgia as well and get their thoughts. Please do. Miss Ar- Yeah. We'll be arriving in Granorg shortly. How are you holding up? I'll be all right. I can't find much to complain about on the eve of a peace treaty. Indeed not, Lady Erica. Celestia and Forgia agreed to the armistice because they too trust in us. Yes, it must happen, come what may. By the way, was it wise to leave him behind? Do you mean Stock? Well, we brought Rosh with us, so he's the only one left who can watch over the troops. No one else could keep the soldiers in line with all the hoopla over the armistice. The men trust him. That's why we need to make sure to do our part in the signing ceremony for the armistice. Yes. Hey, what is it? Are you okay? What the? Hugo, this was his plan all along. Lieutenant General! Everyone, run! It's not safe to remain here! Go! Princess, that means you too! Run and don't stop! All right! Hey, you! Don't just stand there! Ugh, that bastard Hugo! Uh-oh. Damn. Are we gonna make it? You've returned, Stock. Your decision led to Rosh, Raoul, and Erika being turned to sand. Hugo is not a man to place your faith in. As we suspected, you will need the Ethereon to stand a chance against that power. It's okay. I know you can do it. Stock, we're counting on you. Just in case, do you... You haven't recorded... Can't accept an armistice. What? Why ever not? Because Hugo can't be trusted. He came to power by deceiving and backstabbing anyone in his way, after all. I'm glad we're of like minds on this. I'll inform his messenger. You are sure this was the best course of action, aren't you? Yeah. What are you and Erica talking about? Uh-oh. No. No, no, no! I actually have Ethereon with me right now. You should hold on to it. That's impossible! But no, this is the genuine article. Where did you get it? I can't tell you that. As I suspected, you're the holder. The wielder of the White Book of Flux. You must...
must have been made to vow never to speak of it by the Chronicle's Guide. But I've hit upon it, haven't I? So the vow you made should bear no weight before me. Please then, tell me. Yes. I am the holder of the White Chronicle. You gave me Ethereon in another world. I see. Then... I'll return this Ethereon to you. There's only one like it in all the world, and it is necessary to perform the ritual. Once things are over here, I ask that you return it to the other world. I'm sure that that world, Erika, would feel as I do. All right. Erika, I need to know something. What led you to believe that I had the White Chronicle? I... <sighs> you don't have to answer the question if you don't want to. I'm sorry. There's one more thing. There should be another book, one of a paired set with the White Chronicle. Do you know where it is? I don't know if it's one of a set, but I have at least been told that there's another book. The Black Book of Flux. The Black Chronicle. You most likely refer to that. But it was taken by someone long ago, and its whereabouts are still unknown. I see. Stock? There's something else I should tell you. It's very important. What is it? You're... um... You're actually my... No! What? I don't want you to go anywhere! Wait, Ott, what are you saying? I'm not going anywhere. What's wrong? Why are you crying? I don't like it! I understand, but I can't help if I don't know what it is. Ott! <laughs> Erica! Y yes No taking away stock! <laughs> Ott! Do you... What's going on? That's... the Black Book of Flux? of our opponent. We shall be victorious! Dance with me! How about this? There!
Take this! You won't escape! Sorry. We had to win this. They turned to sand? So this is the black energy at work. He's always there. Everywhere I go, is he the holder of the Black Chronicle? I would say so. Then we'll have to deal with him somehow. We'll perform the ritual and save this continent. Are you with me, Erika? Yes. Let's go back where the others are waiting. Is it true? Can we really defend ourselves from that thing? Yes. With Ethereon in our possession, we will be unaffected by the Mana Breach. Then we can move on to our next operation. Let's talk specifics. Right. Allow me to explain. From here forward, we'll divide into two groups. Rash and I will lead the Rebels against Hugo's army. Stock and the others will escort the Princess to Granor. All right. What does getting Princess Erika into Granor accomplish? I will seal the power of the Flux Weapon. Seal it? You can do that? We don't even know how the thing works yet. True. I don't know precisely how the machine functions, but I know what it is doing. Beneath the palace is a chamber called the Royal Hall, which is suffused with the power of Flux. They must be working from there in order to cause mana breaches at will. Alright. So what are you gonna do there? I will temporarily seal the power of Flux in the Royal Hall. Wait a sec. Won't that backfire on us? If I remember right, that power is all that's stopping the land's desertification, isn't it? There's no other way at the moment. That is why we must have the rebel army strike at Hugo's minions. You make it sound so easy. That core is very powerful. I understand the difficulty, but there is no alternative. Furthermore, King Garland has promised to support the army from behind. If the Cygnus army helps, we might just be able to pull this off. What's our next step after reaching Grand Orc? Don't tell me we're meant to storm the palace from the front gates. We can enter an underground waterway from behind a bar there. I see. We can go through that to the palace's basement prison. You? How did you come to know about this? That route is supposed to be kept secret. Ah, uh, of course. Anyway. Once we enter the palace, we'll be at an advantage. Most of the soldiers should be leaving for the battle with the rebel army. And even those stationed at the palace will have their hands full. It still sounds like a tough job. I'm sorry I can't go with you, but causing mayhem suits me better than an escort mission. I'll let you handle the princess. It fits, since you'd be like the princess's knight. Rosh, this is hardly a time for joking around. No, that's all wrong! Huh? Are we missing something important about the operation? It doesn't fit at all! Stock's not Erica! What? Let's talk about that later. Quiet, Stock! Sheesh. What's going on here? Odd. Then you must know. You've returned, Stock. What you will face now is the power of Flux, the source of the Empire's might. Though you carry Ethereon, your journey will surely be trying. Stock, we will be praying for your safety. Let us now add a new chapter to the White Chronicle. Just in case. Do you want to record your actions up till now? We have shown them the dread power of our weapon twice, yet they still resist. 